Seoul is a fascinating city with lots of fascinating things to do. I'm going to teach you how to do it on the cheap. Hi, my name is Rose. Traveling can be really awesome, but not everybody can afford to go on an expensive trip. I'm here today to give you some tips to make your trip fun and cheap. Let's go. Make sure to get your pens out. Many Asian countries have really awesome convenience stores all over the place with great food for really cheap. So rather than spending 10 or 20 dollars at a restaurant, how about spending 2 or 3 dollars instead? They even have microwaves where you can heat up your food. How awesome is that? I'm just waiting for Antoine right now. He's going to come out in a second with his stuff. I stole everything. Come on. Oh my god, what? Another great way to save lots of money while you're traveling is to steal things. Here in Korea, I like to steal things from convenience stores because very rarely does the person who works there pay attention. I stole the soy milk. It's great for making sure that you feel full and uh, it gives you strong bones. again. So I'm here at the Changi Chan. Basically it's a man-made stream that it was carved through the middle of the city. They did this in maybe the 90s or the 80s. I don't know. I guess it's not that important. But what is important is that you remember that walking and taking pictures is always free. So you can come someplace beautiful like this and have the time of your life for absolutely no money. Unless you don't have a camera. In that case, why are you on vacation anyways? Stupid. <laughs> As you can see here, the stream is currently decorated for the Christmas festivities. What we have here is some type of toy Santa Claus and a decapitated dog. That's weird as fuck, y'all. I'm currently standing in front of Gyeongbokgung Palace. It's one of the largest and oldest historical structures in Seoul. It's only about $8 to enter, but you can get in for free if you wear a hanbok, which is a traditional style Korean outfit. I'm not going to do that because that's ridiculous. I'm standing outside of one of Korea's largest opera houses. It features musicals from ballet companies, musical productions, and all sorts of entertainment. So, you're probably wondering, how do I get tickets on such a tight budget? Well, you can't. You're broke. Put it out of your mind right now. Oh, hello. Another great way to save a lot of money on your travel expenses is if you rent an apartment or a room in an apartment. Here, they've got plenty of utensils, cups, and pans, so you can prepare your own meals. It's a great way to save money, and you can explore culinary options in different cities. I'm going to tell you more later about how I saved money on this apartment rental later. Oh, hi again. Welcome to Korea. It's nighttime now, and as you can see, it's a nice place to be. It, it's Sunday, and um, I don't know why I looked at my watch, because I'm not wearing one, and they don't tell you the days of the week. <laughs> we're going to go get something to drink, but we're going to teach you how to do it the cheap way. Rose will fill you in on that later. Bye! Drinking at bars can be expensive, and sometimes the weather is too hot or too cold to drink outside. I know what you're thinking. Bars tend to mark up the prices of alcohol. So what do you do? Well, if you're cute like me, you can convince attractive men to buy you drinks. Thank you! If you're really in a bind, they don't even have to be attractive. Or men, I mean, whatever. Oh, hi. Now I think it's time for me to share my biggest secret with you. It's how I'm able to afford this wonderful apartment. Come with me. This is Tegan. I tied her up and stole her apartment for a weekend. I'm not going to hurt her or anything like that, but I'm allowed to stay here. Don't worry, Tegan. 